Good afternoon to all. Myself Nikhil Gupta. I am assistant professor in mechanical engineering department in IMT College of Engineering, Greater Noida. So today I am here to give the presentation on a very interesting topic. The name of topic is biodiesel. First of all, I would like to discuss what is biodiesel. Basically, biodiesel is a type of fuel which is produced from edible, non-edible, and waste cooking oil feedstock. In simple word, we can say any substance which have triglyceride sources can be produced biodiesel. It is a eco-friendly, biodegradable, and non-toxic and carbon neutral fuel. It is the alternative fuel of the fossil. Ah, uh, second one is the history of the biodiesel. Year of 19, our diesel powered first diesel engine by the using of peanut oil. He found in his study on vegetable oil and proved that diesel engine could be run from the vegetable oil. In 1853, a group of researchers used the transtrifugation procedure to create the first methyl ester from the vegetable oil. And in 1937, a scientist G. Chavan from Belgium was awarded a patent for his work on procedure for the transformation of vegetable oil. And their uses of the fuel. The first basic patent for the industrial procedure for biodiesel is filled by the name of the scientist Expedito Perry. And uh, from South Africa, few researchers produced the first biodiesel from the sunflower. Now, what is the use of biodiesel? Due to the prediction of energy depletion, many researchers investigate biodiesel to be among the best substitute for the fossil fuel. It is the alternate and best alternate of the fossil fuel. It has been seen that any country in the globe may build its economy with the help of transportation infrastructure. Means if transportation infrastructure increase, then definitely country growth also increase. And the major part of the fuel consumed by the transportation infrastructure. The energy supply, which is currently fueled by the fossil fuel like gasoline and diesel, is the main concern for the world transportation industry. The growth of the motorization industry has resulted in an average annual rise in the energy consumption in the transportation sector. Approximately 1.1 percent overall worldwide. Just it has been seen through the researcher research. Just the transportation industry will account 63 percent of total consumption of the energy. And it is the data from 2010 to 2014. Means 63 percent of the total fuel is consumed by the transportation industry. Now, this is the graph which shows the consumption of the fuel, share of the fuel. It is the in in this diagram we have seen 85.2 percent of the total fuel is consumed by the road, means transportation infrastructure, and shipping and aviation and other is very less. 0.4, 12 percent, 1.4 percent. Now, this is the graph which show the transportation sector sector consumption of the biodiesel and emission of the carbon dioxide. Global population is going increase day by day. Similar in transportation infra also increasing. So, due to the increasing of these kind of things, it CO2 emission also increase means 80% of the CO2 increase after. This graph. Now, this is the worldwide graph. We saw the CO2 emission in billion ton. In this graph, we have seen from 1940 to 2020. In 1942, in this graph, we have seen in 1940 only 50, approximately 50 ton billion CO2 emitted. 
but drastically it is increased 1960 1980 2000 2030 it has grow up to 250 means five times greater to the 1940 means in 1940 it is consumed it is emitted by 50 million ton and now it is approx 250 million means five times greater now what is the advantages of the biodiesel basically biodiesel is a good for the environment and has several social and commercial advantages one is the it is the biodegradable and it is the renewable fuel it, it is the safer to the earth safer to use and low toxicity compared to the fossil diesel fuel emission rate is normal lower exhaust emission rate as compared to diesel engine biodiesel mixing in the diesel engine decrease the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide co2 hydrogen particles and particular metals these harmful fossil gas if you the harmful fossil gas reduced in the biodiesel this is the main advantage of the biodiesel and next is if we use biodiesel in current engine then the, there is no modification is required means current engine can be done on biodiesel these are the advantages now what is the limitation of biodiesel as i, I in previous slide i have discussed then biodiesel decrease the co CO2, HC, PM, but same time NOx increase. This is the limitation. This is the disadvantage of the biodiesel. But this nitrogen oxide can be reduced by the changing of the production process by or change by adding the some nanoparticles. It is the research topic. Now, biodiesel has lower calorific value in comparison to diesel engine which can impact the engine performance. This can also be modified. These both uh, disadvantage or limitation can be modified by the production process or by adding some nanoparticles. Now, what is feed stock? Basically, feed stock is defined as a any renewable biological material that can be directly used as a fuel or converted to another from the fuel energy product. These are the generally in three categories. One is the edible oil, in which soybean oil, sunflower, corn, olive, and coconut oils etc are categorized. Second one is the non-edible oil, in which jatropha oil, castor oil, karanja oil, kusum oil, mahua oil etc are categorized. Next, biomass. Bio in biomass, waste cooking oil, waste animal fat, fat or algae are formed in biomass category. These are the raw material, those can produce the biodiesel. Now, in this slide, we will see the production of biodiesel from different feedstock according to the country. In which country, which feedstock produce the biodiesel? In India, generally, jatropha, karanja, soya bean, rapeseed, sunflower, peanuts are used to produce the biodiesel. But in China, jatropha, waste cooking oil, rapeseed are used. In Japan, waste cooking oil are used. In UK, rapeseed, waste cooking oil are used. In Malaysia, palm oil are used. In Spain, linseed oil and sunflower are generally used. In USA, soya bean oil, waste oil, peanuts are used. And in France, rapeseed, sunflower are used. In Mexico, animal fats, waste cooking oils are generally used. In Canada, rapeseed, animal oil, soybean, yellow grease, and tall mustard flax etc. are substrates. Can, those, those can produce the biodiesel. In Italy, rapeseed and sunflower and Indonesia, palm oil, jatropha, coconut are generally used. In Singapore, palm oil are used. In Thailand, palm oil, jatropha, coconut oil used. In Greece, cotton seeds are generally used. In Philippines, coconut and jatropha oils are used. In rapeseed, Sweden oil. And in Ireland, frying oil means waste cooking oil and animal fats are. In Brazil, 
Soya bean, palm and castor and coconut oil generally. In Argentina, soya beans are generally used. And lastly, in New Zealand, waste cooking and oil tallow are generally used to produce the biodiesel. Now, we will discuss on the production process of the biodiesel. To produce the biodiesel, generally, the overall process are categorized in three process. One is the dilution process, second one is the transtrification process, third one is the pyrolysis process, third uh, fourth one is the microemulsification. These four processes are used to produce the biodiesel. Now, first is say, dilution. In simply, by the using of dilution modification process, vegetable oil can be used as an alternative. Vegetable oil are problematic and have numerous inherent flaws when used directly in diesel. Means in dilution process, we can directly add the biodiesel in the diesel engine, in diesel fuel. What is, should be the ratio? This is the main concern. Generally, 20 to 30 percent of vegetables are blend or mixed with the diesel. Means 20 to 30 percent if we use the vegetable oil and mixed with the diesel oil then fuel can be run then engine can be run easily without any drawback next what is the transtrification process is it is the very famous and commercialized process in this uh, process the any tree glycide right, or vegetable oil is converted into the glycerol by the adding or by the adding of some methyl or ethyl alcohol. See, this is the diagram of transtrification in which we will see this is the edible oil, non edible oil, oil here, waste fat. This is the process, transtrification process. Edible oil is mixed with the methanol and some catalyst. The product process will be done here and unrefined biodiesel is produced. After filtration of unrefined biodiesel, a pure biodiesel is produced. And this biodiesel can be used in engine, in diesel engine directly without any next treatment. Here, what is FFA? Basically, FFA is the free fatty acid. It is produced, it is induced in the uh, any tree glycerol. If the FFA is greater than 2%, then we can directly done the transtrification process. And if it is less than 2%, then we need some extra treatment required. Now, this is the reaction of transtrification. Any tree glycerol substance plus methanol is treated by the catalyst and it is converted into diglyceride and FAM means free fatty acid methyl ester. Now this diglyceride plus methanol is converted into monoglyceride and this monoglyceride plus methanol is converted into the glycerol plus FAM. Now glycerol is the separate substance and FAM is the biodiesel and it is the used in engine directly. Now, what is the pyrolysis process? Basically, the process of pyrolysis which produced biodiesel entail heating vegetable oil, animal fat and any triglyceride or fatty acid component to high temperature between 313 degrees Celsius without the presence of oxygen. Means if any biomass or any substance which is heated between 313 degrees Celsius in the absence of the oxygen. Major, 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 is the, major part in pyrolysis is the absence of the oxygen. Then this method includes the breaking down the chemical bond to produce tiny molecules as well as alternating the structure of the saturated and low chain component. Means in pyrolysis process, the any vegetable oil, animal fat or any triglyceride or fatty acid component is heated in a chamber 
with the temperature range is 300 to 1300 degree celsius as the required of substance then this is broken into the chemical bond in the absence of the oxygen this produces the vaporization form of the bio, biofuel and after filtration of biofuel bio, vapor, vapor form a bio pure substance of biofuel is produced this is the process this is the overall process of pyrolysis here now here this is the chamber biomass we take the biomass first we dry this biomass and grind into a small particles then these small particles are feed to our reactor this is the reactor the temperature of this reactor is 300 to 1300 degrees celsius as required of the biomass now this biomass is heated in this reactor in the absence of the oxygen then if it is heated then it is converted into vaporized form and in the cyclone process after the cyclone process it is cool and collect in this chamber after this gas is go back to this again and used to dry this process and in downside the pure substance of biodiesel is biodiesel is goes down and find in this next container from this we can directly use this produced of biodiesel in future means in this pyrolysis process any substance any sub which have triglyceride sources is heated in our reactor in the absence of the oxygen then it is converted into the vaporized form and after treated the cyclone process is converted into a biofuel so 